Hi, it's Jenny and today I'm going to share with you how to create this beautiful fall canvas. We're going to use lots of wonderful goodies from Imagine Crafts and learn lots of new techniques. So let's get started! The base is an 8x10 burlap canvas and I just used some golden molding paste and spread this with a, a spatula across the center of the burlap panel. After that's dry, you're going to ink over the molding paste with some Versamagic Sahara sand. And actually you may see a little bit of green showing through. That's because I'd stamped my sentiment and decided I didn't like it in the green. So I just added some more molding paste over the top of it. And in between each of these layers, you're going to want to let it dry. And then I also sanded um, using a sand it gadget some because I wanted this to resemble an aged plaster wall. I also removed some of the excess ink with just a paper towel. You can see I've added more molding paste and again allowed it to dry. And then I wanted some a little bit of shimmer so I put some Delicata in the Golden Glitz over it. If you're impatient for your layers to dry, you can always speed up the process a little bit using a heat gun. After each layer of ink, I sanded to remove some of the ink and to also help integrate the colors together. For a little bit deeper tone, I used the Memento Luxe in Peanut Brittle. To grunge things up just a little bit, I used the Irresistible Spray in Bamboo Leaves. And then I didn't want it to be very intense, so I just rubbed it into the texture I created with the molding paste and removed the excess with a paper towel. And I also went back with some more of the Golden Glitz just to, to keep bringing some of those colors out. My sentiment was stamped using the Stays on Ink in Spiced Kai. The majority of the embellishments for my canvas were made using this Vertigo product, which is a really cool um, transparent film that reflects the light in all kinds of really cool patterns. And so I'm going to show you how to create these leaves, and you can just see how they catch the light, and they're just amazing to look at in person. The stays on inks work perfectly on the Vertigo, so we're going to just choose some fall colors and just ink up the vertigo and this can be just really mishmash random application of color and then I'm going to use the stays on stamp cleaner and actually use it to help spread these colors around on the vertigo and then you're going to let this dry completely um, and this is how the look that you'll get so the colors just kind of blend into each other really great using this and then I took some of the Irresistible and Dandelion and I just flicked the yellow little dots all over this and then let it dry completely before we moved on. And while this is drying, we're just going to move on to the Dragonfly. And you're going to start with another sheet of Vertigo and just cut it using the Tim Holtz um, Dragonfly die. And it cuts really easy and very beautiful. This die has a matching embossing folder, so we're going to run it back through the machine and emboss it this time. I used the Gothic Purple Stays On ink and just inked over the raised areas of the dragonfly. For the 
debossed areas of the dragonfly's body, I used the Irresistible in Bahama Blue and just put a little bit on and then rubbed away the excess and it just filled in those, those little recessed areas great and gave it almost an iridescent look. And then I wanted to add a little bit more color so just towards the body on the wings I used the bamboo leaves and did the same thing just rubbed away the excess. I cut a second dragonfly from Coordination's Gemstones cardstock, which is a pearlescent black that I used, and I inked over the ed over the wings using Radiant Neon and Electric Orange, and it was beautiful because with that ink, it actually will will show your colors even on a dark cardstock. And then I embossed the um, dragonfly just like I'd done on the Vertigo one. And then I came back with the Gothic Purple Stays On, so it'd be similar, and inked over the raised areas again. And then I put the two dragonfly pieces together and shaped the wings of the Vertigo one so that they raised up and gave lots of dimension to the piece. I used the same techniques with my dried Vertigo for the leaves. Um, of cutting and embossing them and with the embossing I came back with the spiced kai to bring out the depth and the design so you'd really see it well over the leaves. And I just added a few more splatters of the Irresistible and Dandelion. When everything was dry I just shaped and kind of bent the leaves um, to give them more life. It was really easy and it holds the shape perfectly. I also sponged over some of the areas with the electric orange and the radiant neon just to help bring that color in a little bit more. Once all my elements were complete, I was ready to put the canvas together. So I just laid my leaves out and when I found a pleasing arrangement, I just glued them down with some zip dry adhesive. I added a, a few Prima flowers and some vintage buttons just to kind of help round everything out. I want to give a huge thank you to John from Imagine Crafts for being so generous in sending me all these wonderful goodies to play with. Um, I had a great time and I hope that um, you were inspired by some of the things that I made and hope that you'll try some of these techniques yourself. Thanks for stopping by.